Now, originally, you were set to face uh, David Hay on that date, and he pulled out due to an injury. And um, after that, he was actually scheduled to face your brother, and he pulled out of that fight for a, a fight with Nikolai Valua. Could you um, tell us what your opinions are of uh, David Hay both in and outside of the ring? Uh, I don't like to talk about somebody who is not really uh, present in the conversation and he can't answer any questions and uh, and so on and so on. But um, I will give you just my comment on it, that if somebody like David Hay calls you out during the year, he calls you out, he calls you out, he calls you out, he talks a lot of uh, not truthful and not really good things about you as the person, and also you know he he he's uh, representing himself with the decaptivated bodies of your family members, which is completely over the edge. Um, um, in this world, there are a lot of sports and there are rules in the sports and there are certain behavior in the sport, but that that was definitely out of regular behavior and out of out of uh, uh, any understanding and, and over the edge and below the li- below the belt line, the way how he promoted himself. So and then he's getting the fight. First of all, he's promising things which he cannot with his manager uh, Adam Booth, which he cannot deliver as Chelsea Stadium in London. And I <laughs> I have to wait for him for half a year because of Chelsea Stadium on June 20th. That was the, the previous fight scheduled where, and uh, otherwise we're gonna fight in March. So he could not deliver it, and I was waiting for June. I said, all right, so we're gonna fight you because not only me uh, wanna see this fight, but also the, the fans, the boxing fans were so excited to, he promoted himself so well, that they wanna see David Hay going down in the Klitschko fight. So I said, okay, David, we're going to fight. Uh, and and he asked me, you know, if the fight will be on June 20th. So it didn't happen in London. I have to find another stadium in Germany, which we did uh, with K2. And uh, two weeks before, he bailed out. I don't blame him. You know, injury and sport are so close. So athletes are always getting um, injuries. And uh, so if it happened, but then later on, uh, to ask me to postpone it for a week, then for two weeks, then for four weeks, then for seven weeks. I mean, I couldn't really decide, can I take this man serious or not? So I decided, no matter what, I'm going to fight on June 20th. Because I lost my time already with him. I was getting really roasted because I wasn't fighting in March or April as usually. And then, um, then uh, the Vitalis fight came 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 on the line, and uh, we were negotiating. And then suddenly, the man disappeared. Before the day before uh, the contract has to be signed, the man is disappeared, and uh, his manager didn't even pick up the phone to tell us that, you know, the fight is off because we have signed with Valu. And then these comments at the end that Valif is much more easier fight for me, as David said. To me, Valif is an easier fight than the Klitschko. Um, there is no logic. That, I mean, the logic is, is, is just uh, simple and ridiculous. Um, I don't know. There should be certain pride. If you say something, if you want to have fight and you call somebody to this fight and you actually sign the same contract before which he's supposed to fight and signing signing contract with my brother Vitaly, so the the, the uh, inside of the contract didn't change and then fighting excuses you know the contract was bad or whatever was bad uh, it's totally ridiculous I, I just I don't see this man this man is immature as the person and he's immature as the fighter that's my opinion and that's it basta <laughs> okay.